Hello everyone and welcome to the order. Today I'm going to show you how to apply thermal compound. Now I'm not gonna bore you with all of the different methods, I'm going to show you only the two which work the best, which are the line method and the P method. Now there are two types of chips, rectangular and square. For the rectangular chips we we'll use the line method and for the square chips we use the P method. But there are also a few exceptions like the larger rectangular Opteron CPUs and others like them for which we use the P method. Moving on I'm going to explain how much thermal compound you need for each method. Now I'm going to show you how to determine the amount of thermal compound that you need for the P method. Now imagine a 5x5 grid above your square chip. The amount of thermal compound that you should apply should be slightly smaller than the middle square of that grid. You don't need to spread the thermal compound around, it will spread by itself when you put on the heating. Now I'm going to show you how to determine the amount of thermal compound that you need for the line method. Now you should roughly start applying the thermal compound on your rectangular chip from here and and until here. And in the end your thermal compound should look something like this. Again there is no need to spread it, it will spread by itself when you put on the heating. Now I must warn you, the thermal compound line shouldn't reach the edges of your rectangular chips otherwise it will overflow when you apply the heating and if your thermal compound is conductive it may short out nearby components. Now I'm going to explain how to clean up thermal compound. You need a microfiber cloth, it is the preferred cloth, but paper or cotton cloths are acceptable. You will also need rubbing alcohol for use in electronics and finally you will need some low lint swabs which don't shed fibers, but you may use a microfiber cloth instead. Now I'm going to show you how to remove old thermal compound. This is an old 3850 a friend of mine gave me. I did not apply this thermal compound, this is way too much. First start off with the microfiber cloth and clean the excess compound. Be careful not to get any of the compound on the surrounding components. Now take the swab. Soak it in the alcohol and gently clean any residual thermal compound. Now I'm going to apply the thermal compound like I showed you in the P method. And here is the spread. Now I'm going to show you the P method once again but this time I'll use a CPU. First the P. and then the spread. Unfortunately, I don't have a rectangular chip to demonstrate the line method, but I think that my instructions are clear enough for you to do it yourself. And finally, a few frequently asked questions and some warnings. Don't spread the compound, don't overflow the chip with thermal compound, otherwise if the compound is conductive it may short out your components, use the methods according to the types of chips and make sure that you are using quality thermal compound. And so, this concludes my thermal compound tutorial. If you have any tech related questions feel free to send them in, like, comment and subscribe for more tech videos. This is the Tech Order, signing out.